Okay guys, I'm gonna continue on with the uh, overhook and I'm gonna show you how to leverage the other arm. When you have an overhook, the problem is like, you gotta stay tight, you gotta create wrestling pressure, um, and yet you have to tie up the other arm without him trapping your other leg. So that's, probably, that's where the issue is with these kind of traps. You know, anytime you use like a closed, tight guard system, you know, whether rubber guard, shoulder pin, you know, they're gonna, it gets so tight that you're actually battling yourself. Where the overhook, you still have a little room with your hips, but you, you have, you create all, you, you kill all the space, but now you have to create space. So it's a real game of inches. So I got my, I got my overhook, okay? I got my head position, okay? And what I'm doing, my normal, okay? I'm just gonna, I'm here. I shift off line, let's turn a little bit. Thank you. Okay, that's enough, right? Wait, just a little back. Right there, that's good. Okay, so I got my foot on the hips and I'm controlling my bottom leg. So I have my wizarding pressure, I'm curling, my head position is good, but now, like, see how the elbow's controlling my leg? He's not gonna let me attack very well there unless I'm trying just to attack on this side. So I'm gonna take this away, I'm gonna have my upper grip. If he lets me get my bottom grip, it's different, but that's the ideal situation, but a lot of times he's not gonna let you, so you're only gonna be here. But see how those elbows is blocking my leg? So he's gonna start causing problems for me. So when I'm here now, I'm actually gonna pull his arm towards me, like I'm trying to pull it in for like a show, like an overhook arm bar, but what I'm gonna do is I pull it in and I'm gonna go from here, I'm gonna bring my fist and I'm gonna snatch my fist like this. I don't actually, you can grab it, that's fine. But I'm just so used to the ice pick grip because it's stronger and less energy. So I'm here, I'm staying tight. There, so now I still have it trapped. Like he's stuck all with one hand. So I'm here. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start to drop my leg down and I'm gonna do an ice pick, like I'm gonna straighten my arm. So here, pull it in. See how I'm holding it pretty tight? And it's very strong. And this leg now is free. The foot on my hip here, on his hip, allows me to move my hips out if I need it. Now as I hit this, the leg comes over. Now you can go right for the leg hook or hook the leg of the arm. It really depends. Like sometimes in MMA I'll hook the arm so I don't get hit. But in grappling a lot of times just hooking the leg is fine. It's up to you. So from this I make my angle now. So I hook the leg or the arm. And I'm gonna to try to pivot. So here, and I hit my pivot, and I hit my finish. Okay. I'm gonna go up straight. You guys can see this side. I'm not gonna see the hands, but in, play in the position, move out, in, there's my finish. Okay. One more. So we're here, I get my trap, okay? I'm working my position, I might be here, nice and tight, offline, pull. Of course he's gonna recover, you're gonna pull back, lock. You can grab or fist, one or the other. Now from here, I move my leg and straighten. So he goes in, I clear, lock. Okay? I like this, it's probably, it's one of my favorite overhook tie-up submissions. And I can hit the arm ball. I have a lot of misdirection I can do there as well, but it's strong, very strong, and I'm not using much energy. So if you really want to get good at overhook trying to set up, I like this. I suggest you work on it because you can actually switch to a corner lock arm bar. It's just a lot of variations to build off of it. So. Spend some time on this one if you really want to play that overhook trap game.